Hello and welcome. In this video, we will show you how you can perform an F-test using Excel. An F-test is a statistical tool in hypothesis testing to test whether or not the variances of two populations are equal. This is often used to determine which kind of t-test to use when we want to test the equality of the means of two groups of data. We assume that the underlying distributions of the datasets are normal and the datasets are independent. On this sheet, we have 30 observations of the average resting heart rate of non-athletes and athletes. We want to know whether or not there is a significant difference between these two. We will use a t-test for this, but we need to determine which t-test to use, which depends on the sample sizes and variances. When the variances of the datasets are equal, we have to use another t-test than when the variances are unequal. To test this, we state our null hypothesis H0 as the variance of the heart rate of athletes stated by sigma athletes squared equals the variance of the heart rate of non-athletes stated by sigma non-athletes squared. The alternative hypothesis is then sigma athletes squared is not equal to sigma non-athletes squared. To perform the F-test, we navigate to data and select data analysis. A menu opens where we scroll down to the F-test and select it. We press OK and another menu opens where we have to enter some data for testing. First we need variable 1 range, which is the non-athletes data in range A3 to A32. Next we need the variable 2 range, which is athletes data in range B3 to B32. We did not include the labels in the variable ranges, so we keep this box unchecked. And we have to enter the level of confidence for our test. This is automatically set to 0.05, which corresponds to a 95% confidence level. This is a commonly used level, so we keep this. Finally, we choose where the output of the F-test should appear. We put it on the same sheet in cell D7 and press OK. The output table appears on the screen. The first half of this table summarizes the variables. We see the means, variances, the number of observations, and the number of degrees of freedom. Next, we see the value of the F statistic, the P value, and the critical F value for a one tail test. Since the F statistic is smaller than the critical F value, we can conclude that the variance of the heart rate of athletes is significantly different from that of non athletes. Another way to conclude this is by making use of the p-value. The p-value for the test is 0 0.0001. This value is smaller than our confidence level of 0 0.05. So we conclude to reject the null hypothesis. This concludes our video on f-test in Excel. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Excel or software-related tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.